I've lost count of how many times I've heard, I'm... Is it too late for me to become an artist? This is the topic that will not die. And since it's been trending on art Twitter every three weeks for the past year and a half, I guess it's time to talk about it. No, you're not too old. Video over. Good night. Okay, deep down, we all know the age thing is silly, and you can start getting into art at any age. We all know that, right? So why do we still feel like it's not true? Admit it, you've posted online, age doesn't matter for becoming an artist. But then immediately afterwards, you say the quiet part alone, just to yourself. Age doesn't matter, but I need to catch up with those younger artists. I feel this too. Every day. After college, I didn't have a clear idea of what I wanted to do as an artist, and my skills were... Well. I spent years trying to figure out what kind of artist I actually wanted to become and finally getting a grasp of good fundamental drawing skills, which my school didn't teach me by the way. By the time I started being able to find work in animation studios, I was a couple of years older than most of my peers. Worse off, I was so self-conscious about this fact that I even felt the need to hide it at times. Like, I didn't outright lie or anything, but... Let's just say that my skincare regimen is on point. But there are tons of successful artists who didn't start their careers until their 30s, 40s, or even 50s. There are artists who are prolific well into the twilight years of their lives. Again, we all know this. So why do we doubt ourselves? Is it because we know that making a career out of your work is going to require long hours, sleepless nights, constant improvement, competition, and education? Is it because we know that studios will grind us to the bone, push schedules tighter and tighter, that clients will expect faster and faster turnarounds? Is it because you know that you're getting older, but your savings account is looking pretty barren, and you don't see a light at the end of this constant burnout tunnel? Our obsession with youth in the art community is a problem. It makes newcomers feel excluded, it makes young artists burn out faster, and it's incredibly toxic to the mental health of working artists as they begin to grow older. The problem is that we are conflating age with a deeper underlying problem, exploitative working conditions. We need to seriously reevaluate the way we talk about age and work in the art community. Not just because you're stressed out about this and I'm stressed out about this, but because, like most factors of working life, the talk about age affects marginalized creators even more. Making people feel like they're too old hurts younger artists who cannot afford to attend prestigious art schools and often cannot land a job or internship right out of college as a result, starting their careers feeling already left behind. Making people feel too old hurts artists from rural areas who lacked access to local art education growing up, many of whom were not exposed to the software and hardware required to work in this field until a later age. Making people feel too old affects artists who have to take parental or family leave to take care of their children or parents and feel left behind when they try to return to work. This issue in particular affects women and minority women the most, who often have no choice but to abandon or put career pursuits on hold when their family is depending on them as a caretaker. We have to stop obsessing over youth, because it's doing more than just harming ourselves or harming a few teens and 20-somethings on the internet. We are holding back some of the most vulnerable members of our society from being able to access creative careers. If we don't want age to matter, we need to start acting like it. We need to stop glamorizing burnout. We need to stop working through the night to make unreasonable deadlines. We need to normalize taking breaks, closing our email, and turning off our phones for an hour or two. Freelance clients. When an artist tells you they need more time, 
you need to realize that we are not machines. They might have a lot going on in their personal life. Adding a few extra days to the schedule probably won't be a deal breaker for your project, but it could mean the world to them. Commissioners, don't expect immediate turnarounds for your requests, and don't get upset if your favorite artist has to raise their prices. Accept that we are human beings who need to rest and eat just like you do. We all need to come together and stop engaging in the work till you drop behaviors that effectively does make age matter, even though it shouldn't. Despite all of this, I still firmly believe that you are never too old to become an artist. What no one seems to talk about is that there are advantages to starting your art journey later in life as well. You have more lived experience and memories to draw on as inspiration. If you have experience working in another job or career, you already have the time management skills needed to approach learning art more efficiently. Both as a hobby and career, art is a path available to anyone at any point in their lives. But for those who've already chosen this path as work, I think that we need to come together as a community to make it more accessible to newcomers and outsiders. We need to make sure this isn't a career where you burn out the second you hit 30. I know for many artists who are struggling to earn a living, you might not be in a position to say no to more work. To those of us who have built more stable careers in games, animation, kid lit, or editorial illustration, if you are in a place of economic security, then you need to be the one to lead this charge. These are systemic cultural problems that we cannot change overnight. But we can take small steps, like asking for overtime when you're expected to work extra hours for free, or saying, this cannot be finished by the deadline. Could we hire a freelancer to help? Here's a crazy idea. We could actually use our sick and vacation days. I'm bad at this too. Even setting aside a few hours during the night in which you won't work can make a huge difference in the long run. In the end, Instead of saying, why am I burning out? Am I too old? Maybe. We should start saying, why isn't my boss paying me more? Oh,